This year's Nobel laureate in literature and Norwegian writer, Jon Fosser, was born in 1959 in Haugesund on the Norwegian west coast. His huge oeuvre, spanning a variety of genres, comprises around 40 plays and a wealth of novels, poetry, collections, essays, children's books and translations. While he is one of the most recognized and widely performed playwrights of our time, he has also been acclaimed for his novels, narratives and poetry. Resembling his great precursor in New Norse literature, Talje via Source, Foster blends a rootedness in the language and nature of his Norwegian background with artistic techniques in the wake of modernism. Sergei Beckett, Thomas Bernard, and Georg Krakow are some of his Waldwirtschaften. Foster's international breakthrough as a playwright was Claude Regis' 1998 Paris production of his first and much performed play, No Kom Kien Tilokoma, or in English, Someone is Going to Come. Even in this early piece, with its themes of fearful anticipation and crippling jealousy, Foster's Singularity is fully evident. In his radical reduction of language and dramatic action, he exposes human anxiety and ambivalence at its core. Other major achievements in his dramatic work are Namnet, Draum und Hauston, and Dutch Variationen, in English, the name dream of autumn and death variations. It is through his ability to evoke man's loss of orientation and how this paradoxically can provide access to a deeper experience close to divinity that Foster has come to be regarded as an innovator not only in contemporary theater. Foster's Manuus in prose is his septology in three books, completed in 2021. A 1250-page monologue in which an elderly artist speaks to himself as another person. In English, the titles are The Other Name, I is Another, and A New Name. The work progresses seemingly endlessly and without sentence breaks, but is formally held together by recurring themes and ritual gestures of prayer in a time span of seven days. The first section of the novel addresses the painting that Asler, the narrator, has been unable to complete, but which is nevertheless dearest to him. This depicts two strokes, one purple and the other brown, in the form of a diagonal cross. It is as if this opening phrase draws together the different time layers of the work into a single infinite present. The painted cross also indicates the dominant doppelganger motif of the novel, Asler speaking with Asler at the moment. Of death. The septology is a major work, being at the same time Asla's attempt at reconciliation with his own fate, an elegy to his dead wife, and a Kunstroma dealing with his own career as a painter. Foster's sensitive language, which probes the limits of words, reveals the closeness of his relationship with poetry. This is obvious even in his first poetry collection, Engel mit Wacken in Augene, from 1986, and in the recent edition of his collected lyrical works, Dicht die Sammling. Interestingly, 
Foster has in recent years added to his long list of translations into Ninosh two modern lyrical classics, Eotrakos Sebastian I. Traum, uh, 2019, and Rainer Maria Lilkes Duino Elia. Thank you very much for coming here, and now I will start the individual interviews with my colleague, Anna Sarah. Thank you.